Welcome to Bill Dance Saltwater. Great fun fishing that anyone can do. Yes, you can do this. Every angler, fresh or saltwater, has got his favorite species to fish for and catch. Bill Dance certainly does. In freshwater, it'd definitely be the acrobatic smallmouth bass. And when it comes to saltwater, Bill's number one pick would be the highly intelligent, hard pulling, drag smoking, rod bending, never say quit, magnificent snook. Well, today, our guide has a quest that feels just about the same way. Bill's dear friend and excellent guide, Peter Deeks of Peter Deeks Outdoors, who he's fished with many times over the years, loves fishing for big specks, reds, and of course, snook. Today, these two anglers will be fun fishing again for big trout and hopefully getting the opportunity to tie in to one of their favorites, snook. Let's you and I join in. Got one up there, Bill? Got something. Hot dog. What's it looking like? It's looking like it's good. Come back up on that bar. I mean, he... Is it, you want me to get the net for you? It looks like a redfish. Nah, it doesn't look like a redfish. It looks like a big trout. Oh, check him out. Beautiful. Oh, <laughs> boy, look at the size of that trout. That's a good one. <laughs> Woo! Careful. Careful now. Oh, that's a giant. Look at the size of that trout. Whoa! Woo! I'm going to tell you something, boy. That is... That is a whopper. No doubt. Huh? No doubt. Can you believe the size of those fish? <laughs> I'm telling you. Did I tell you? He's the biggest. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you got the hook? Yeah. There. Oh. Woo! Boy, boy, boy. Beautiful fish right there, isn't it? How big was that when you think? Uh, it's probably 30 inches. A good solid eight and a half, nine pound fish. That's just unheard of. Eight and nine pound trout. I mean, it's just consistent. I mean, you just, it's, it's just unbelievable. You're the man. No, you're the you man. You threw it out there. You're the, no, fish. you are the man. Woo! Holy! <laughs> <laughs> I love this, boy. You ready for another? Yeah, we got right. a little cloud cover. But the sun's coming. Well, I see the sun coming back, trying to get back out. But it doesn't matter. They bite the sunshine or clouds, don't they? Yeah. Or is, there, is there a difference? Do they bite better on cloud cover or they bite better on the sun? Doesn't seem to matter. No, it's, it's really tide effective and, you know, you got to move around. But You do better on outgoing or incoming. Depends on where you fish. You know, some spots are better on outgoing, some are better on incoming. Just gotta what? try it out and see what they're doing. <laughs> well, who cares? <laughs> Woo! Oh! Today's show is sponsored in part by 
Bass Pro Shops, your adventure starts here. Quantum Rods and Reels. And Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Today's conditions log is brought to you in part by Fish Defunct. It keeps your hands scent free and clean, so fish can't smell you. Use Fish Defunct unscented while fishing and Fish Defunct scented after fishing to remove all odors. I got one. He's going crazy. He's pigs. When, when, when they start, just let them go. Like just let him go. Freaking out. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes they'll. I mean, no joke. They'll run 50 feet while that trout chases them. If you hold them back, they won't bite. So you want them to swim, right? Yeah. Now, every now and again, you got to pull it tight to get the belly out of your line. But yeah, when that when you think there's one on it, that's when he needs to be freaking out. So when you pull up here and find a good spot, you just drop the fire poles. Just sit and fan cast an area. Yep, and then move down. Fishing area, move down. Fishing area, move down. They're scattered all along, all these little sandbars. And then just <clears throat> ease up, pull them up, and just drift out a little bit, power pole down again, mm -hmm. and work that, fan cast that area. Exactly. You got a hit? Yeah, I did. What happened? You got him? I got him. Oh, let me come in. What we're using. We're using seven foot six medium inshore smoke rods, quantum, and we're using 30 size smoke inshore reels. And all of this is attached to Strand's 30 pound braid super line that's made with Dyneema. And we've got a 40 pound fluorocarbon leader. These inshore rods have got a little bit bigger guides than the freshwater guides. So when you tie your uh, fluorocarbon leader to your braid, that knot, it'll go through those guides a lot better for your uh, inshore rods. And we use these octopus, it's like a modified circle hook. It's really good for live baits. This is made by Gamakatsu, and it's just an octopus hook. It's an dot. It gets those fish right in the corner of the mouth. And sometimes those circle hooks, they'll miss when you're using live baits. That's but, the same hook, isn't it? Yeah. Now you don't want a straight J hook or it'll gut hook these fish, but a, an octopus is perfect. How big is that fish? Six, seven pounds? Six pounds? He's over seven. He's 27 and a half, 28 inch fish. Let's get him back in the water. He's just such a pretty fish. Where does the Indian River start? Um, the very northern end of the Indian River is up by the Space Center. Um, and the north part of Merritt Island or Titusville. And it goes all the way down south to St. Lucie, which is, I want to say, I think it's about 120 miles. Is all of it, uh, the, whole, the whole river full of trout? The whole river's full of trout. And there's a bunch of sub-lagoons that connect off of it, like uh, you've got the Banana River Lagoon. Um, you've got Mosquito Lagoon, which is on the very northern end. There's a lot of big trout in there. So Mosquito Lagoon is part of the Indian River? Uh, that's a lagoon within itself. The Banana River is part of the Indian River. But they're all interconnected. Do you get good sized redfish up through here? Or is that further south? Um, we get decent ones here. And the further north you go, the better they get. Oh, it's further north? Further north, yeah. Oh, OK. How about snook? I know we've caught big snook here. Yeah, no, we just, there's some giant snook here. I mean, we'll have shots of plenty of big snook today. They're mixed in with these trout. But yeah, from here, from here south is, is the snook capital of the world. There you go. It's like a mid-slot fish, probably 30, 31 inches. He's beautiful. Here, can you pop that hook out for me? Yeah. It's a good hook, too. It's really good. Got your rod. Right. You want me to set it free? Yes, sir. Big old lateral line. Look at that dark line. They're just beautiful fish, aren't they? Ooh, there you there go. You go. Today's show is sponsored in part by 
Mako Boats, building legends for over 40 years. Gamakatsu, world's finest hooks. And Lurlark, turning the tackle world upside down. Today's equipment log is brought to you in part by Gamakatsu, because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. Today's show is sponsored in part by Stren, the standard of dependability since 1958. Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. And Mystic Lubricants, lubrication domination. You gotta fish your, your live baits like you do artificials. You can't just sit there and hold your rod. You wanna move him, you wanna let him move, you wanna really pull those fish. But if, you, if you're caught with your finger on the line and that trout hits, he'll cut your finger. I mean, they're fast when they hit. I heard you drag. Mighty white. Yep, you're good. You know, I know you've got a degree in marine biology, and you've got it on this river. Uh-huh. Uh, most of your life. Right. You think that's helped you uh, in yep. learning more about the river and the, the habitat of the river? The, the, the fishery itself? I think so. Um, you know, it's helped me break down the environment, learn it better, um, understand what's going on under the water a little bit more. Um, so I'd say so. Yeah, there's no telling how many trout you've caught here in your lifetime. What's the biggest you ever caught? The biggest trout that we've caught, uh, we've always just gotten a quick picture and set them free, so I, I wouldn't know exactly how big they are. but. Um, I would guess probably 15 pounds, maybe a little bit more. Woo. We've caught two that were just absolute giants. Um, but the biggest one I ever weighed um, was just under 14 pounds. I caught him on like a little jerk bait uh, fishing up in Titusville when I was probably 13 years old. Big Whoa, shit. don't lose him, Bill. We get him up here. Oh, that, wind, that wind just blew this net inside out. I'm trying. He's digging. Oh, he went down. He went, He saw that net. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Boy, looks like a plank. Looks like a big plank, man. Let me get that hook out of there, Bill. Oh. Give him a little touch on his face. Look at his <laughs> tooth. Big tooth and big eyes. He's ready to go. Pretty much East Central Florida is where I guide. So it's specializing mostly in what? Trout, redfish, uh, snook? Trout, redfish, snook, um, and, and tarpon. The tarpon are, are fairly seasonal. It'd be the late spring through the early fall. Uh, we have awesome tarpon fishing. But, um, you know, I try my best to catch the biggest and the most redfish, trout, and snook, because that's what we have here. Uh, other areas have you know, other species that they're, they're good at catching and they have more of. Here, those would be the species to target. Hurry, Bill, get the net, get the net. Oh, he's right here. Over here clowning around. Bring him back to me. He's in the net. <laughs> now, now you're asking- Look at the size of that. You're wow. <laughs> he was asking what a gator trout was. That's a gator trout. Calm down, wow. fella. I don't want to hurt him. Here, just let him calm down for a second before I grab him. All right, calm down. Calm down. Now, calm down. There. Oh. They, you, put, you scare them. See, I put my hands on them, they just calm right down. He did, he did, man. He did, he most naturally did. Solid fit. What is a solid fish? That's a gator. What would you say is? You can't even hold the fish when you get him up. And he's the guide. He's the pro. He's a professional. Good yep. fish, huh, Bill? Yeah, Bill. 
Probably 27. No, I'd say he's 28 inch fish. It's yeah. Solid. All right. There she is. The Bill Dance Question and Answer of the Week is brought to you by Mystic Lubricants and their complete line of JT4 Marine products. A full line of products for your full line of pursuits. Visit mysticlube.com today. Is it true the Barracuda is the fastest fish in salt water? Actually, no. Biologists have a difficult time measuring the top speed of fish, but some observations have been taken, and the top speeds have been estimated and checked. Barracuda at 28 miles per hour, Bonita at 40, Tuna at 50, and Sailfish at over 60. But a swordfish was recorded at 68 miles per hour. Today's show is sponsored in part by... Millennium Marine, a new class of comfort. And Finnor, legendary tackle since 1933. Closed captioning is provided by Bill Dance Digital. Follow us. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series, chart plotter sonar combos. With advanced sonar technology like Chirp and exclusive Pan Optics all seeing sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. What's a lure lock box? Something fantastic. There's a place for everything and everything needs to be in place. Being organized makes for a better day on the water. Lure lock tackle boxes certainly help. They hold everything in place, even if you turn them upside down or even drop them. A place for it, and that's in your boat. Lure lock. Get yourself one, two, or three. You're going to love them. Come be a part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. There's some giant snook here. What's your biggest snook? Well, I like to consider what the people I fish with is like part of my catch. But uh, personally, probably high 30s. Yeah, Bill. <laughs> How fast is that line coming out? <laughs> Woo, he chased us. Did you see that line spinning? <laughs> it was zinging. Huh? Did you see that line going off that reel? You couldn't even close it, huh? You couldn't even close it. He was smoking it. Look at him taking it now. Bill, if this is a trout, this is this is the one. If this is, it could be that big snook though. We might have to move, guys. See if I can turn him back. He took out 100 yards of line down current. Got my heart kicking. It's got to be a snook. It's got to be a snook. But I've never seen a 20 pound trout before, so I don't really know what they fight like. Whenever you come tight, Bill, lighten your drag just a little bit. Yeah, there you go. You're good. That's good. Oh, oh yeah. He's, he's just as big as something. Should we just go follow him, Bill? Yeah, if you want to. We'll ruin our trout, but I think we need to. Let's go. This is fantastic. I'm so glad you hooked that fish. It is huge. He's just going on. This is gonna. This is probably the biggest of the year that I've all kept. He's a, just a monster. This is where good equipment really pays off. You know that. You got to be able to trust your drag. Without that, you're nothing. Oh boy, that's a big. Oh, that's a big. Look at the size of that snook. There he is. Check that fish out. Good <laughs> grief. All right, just go slide him right in here to the net. Oh boy. Oh. Oh, I got it! <laughs> Check that fish out! <laughs> oh my gosh! Woo! We fought Woo. this fish. Boy, that thing beat me to my knees! Check that fish out! That's a good name. Bill. <laughs> Hold his tail up. Help me out! <laughs> I, got, I got him. How big do you think it is? Oh man, I don't know. He's just he's oh boy, giant. he's heavy. Look at this, huh? He's just huge. 
<laughs> That's the biggest one I've ever caught. 40, 42 is my biggest. Show, show them there. the rod and reel that you just caught this fish on. <laughs> we chased this fish out to the channel and back twice. Look at that. Look where they just Look barely the hooked. There it is. It fell out right there. Huh. <laughs> Phil, this is such a highlight fishing Look with at you. Look at Catching these fish. Let's yeah. get him back in the water. Easy, girl. Well, we couldn't have written a better script. When Bill selects a guide to be on his show and recommends one to the public, he needs this person to be personable, good with customers, knowledgeable, have an impeccable reputation, have good equipment, and a safe boat. And he's always found that to be the case with his dear friend, Captain Peter Deeks of Peter Deeks Outdoors. Peter has lived and fished in this area all of his life. And his ability to find and catch these giants is second to none. You'd be hard pressed to find a more solid all around guide than Captain Peter. Thanks for joining us this week. Now remember, this is something you can do. Yeah, you can do this. We hope you've enjoyed Bill Dance Saltwater and learned that you can do this. Please join us right here again next week.